Hello everyone, I'm so glad to present my work in the second scientific week. Uh, so my work is about objective weighting methods combined with topsies and their effects on ranking nodes in social networks. So this work is uh, presented by me, Haita Rehaula, a PhD student at Windsor University. Uh, the co-authors of this work uh, are uh, Mushkor Mustafa from the Computer System and Vision Laboratory, uh, Faculty of Science Agadir, Aguti Tariq from Engineer and Information Systems Laboratory, and uh, Antari Jiri from the Polydisciplinary Faculty of Charitat. So the outline of my uh, presentation uh, as follows. So I start with introduction, then we pass to present objective uh, weighting methods. Afterwards, uh, we present uh, topsies and centrality measures. <laughs> Then uh, we pass to the case study and discussion, and the last is the conclusion. So, as you know, uh, social network analysis uh, is principally a set of tools for analyzing and modeling social interactions as nodes. Uh, these nodes can be uh, individual organizations, etc., and uh, interaction, uh, the interconnections between. Uh, between these nodes, uh, which means relations uh, between these nodes. So, uh, nodes in these networks don't have uh, the same importance. Some nodes uh, boost the network spread. So, the identifying the importance uh, of nodes is a challenging topic in network science. Uh, previous research has used centrality metrics to determine the nodes' uh, importance. For example, uh, they consider nodes with a high metric of centrality, whether the metric is uh, either degree or closeness or betweenness, so uh, are considered the most important nodes. So uh, these metrics have some limitations. To remedy this uh, issue, we apply a uh, technique for order preference uh, uh, based on uh, the closeness to the ideal uh, solution, uh, topsis. So we join uh, we join uh, centrality metrics as uh, multi criteria to define the node's importance, and we suggest novel approaches for objective weighting that will be used uh, conjointly with topsis, uh, because we have uh, used uh, used in uh, previous work. Uh, Topsis, but we, uh, we assign weights uh, subjectivity. So uh, uh, in this work, we apply uh, three methods of objective weighting, and uh, we combine it with topsis. So the method used to achieve weight objectively are criteria importance, thorough inter-criteria correlation, uh, standard deviation. Uh, method based on the removal effects of criteria. So this is the abbreviation of the three uh, used methods, critic, meric, and uh, STV, which means standard deviation. So uh, these approaches uh, are combined with topsis, and the product of these combinations are critic topsis, meric topsis, and STV topsis. So the proposed combinations will uh, overcome the failures of the original topsis in terms of weight. We pass to present the first objective weighting method, critic. The critic method is part of the correlation method. It was proposed by uh, Diakulaki in uh, 1995. Uh, it aims to fix objective weights for attributes. It depends on the analytical testing on, uh, of the decision matrix. So the weights derived incorporate bad contrast intensity and conflict which contained in the structure of the decision problem. So critic consists of the steps. So uh, the first step is uh, formulate the decision matrix. Then we normalize this uh, uh, decision matrix uh, or input matrix. So uh, f star g is the ideal value or best solution. 
and fg star is the worst solution or uh, no ideal value the step the third step is uh, to estimate the standard deviation from for the normalized matrix uh, step 4 establish symmetric matrix uh, linear correlation coefficients between the criteria to measure the conflicts created by the criteria uh, step 5 the estimation of criterion information step six conflicts uh, the measure obtained by the gth criterion the second uh, technique is uh, merec so also is used to define the criterion's uh, objective weights uh, weights so uh, this technique employs a fresh idea for weighting criteria based on the removal impacts of criteria in the decision uh, problem so uh, we consider and then set the m issue with n options and n parameters so uh, medex process includes uh, this uh, step uh, as you see in the schema so the first uh, is uh, the first step is the construction of the decision ma decision matrix or the input matrix with the uh, x i g uh, superior to zero. Then uh, the normalization the normalization of the decision matrix. So all values x i g will normalize it to n x i n x i g. Uh, then uh, the calculation of the alternatives performance so ps uh, is the set of beneficial criteria and cs is the set of non beneficial criteria uh, then uh, the fourth step is the calculation of the performance of the options after deleting uh, each parameter so uh, S prime IG is the performance of the ITH, op uh, ITH uh, option in terms of removing the GTH parameter, and uh, we compute the, remo the removing impact of the GTH criterion. And the last, we define uh, define this is the definition of uh, parameter weights based on uh, removal impacts values got yet from uh, the previous step. So W0J is the GTH criterion's objective weight. So uh, the standard deviation is the third uh, technique. is uh, based on mathematical approach for fixing the volatility measure of the given values. Uh, it defines the weights uh, of the criteria based on their standard uh, standard deviations. So uh, it uh, consists of uh, two important steps. The first is the calculation of the standard deviation of the input matrix. Then uh, the values of standard deviation are used for computing weights. So here uh, I. Uh, is from 1 to M and G is from 1 to N. So we pass uh, to the topsys and centrality measures. So uh, we start with topsys. Topsys is the technology for order preference by uh, similarity to ideal solution. Uh, so uh, it's a famous MCDM approach. It was originally developed by uh, Shirley Wong and Yun in uh, 1981. It's based on the concept that the alternative chosen must have uh, uh, the nearest distance from uh, the ideal solution and the farthest distance from the negative ideal solution. So uh, the top test process is performed following uh, the steps in the schema. So we create a decision matrix composed of uh, M alternatives and N criteria, and uh, we normalize the decision matrix. The, non the normalized matrix XIG is calculated using uh, this formula. Um, then we calculate the weighted decision matrix by multiplying the normalized decision matrix got it in the previous step with uh, its corresponding weights as uh, explained in the following equation. 
where uh, WG is the weight of uh, GTH criterion. Then we calculate the ideal best solution and negative ideal solution. So set of maximum values for each criteria is the ideal solution and the set of minimum values for each criteria is the negative ideal solution. So then we calculate the Euclidean distance from the ideal best solution and from the negative ideal solution. Then we determine the relative closeness to the ideal solution by uh, calculating uh, the performance score uh, PI. And uh, the last we rank the alternatives according to decreasing uh, PI value in the previous step. So centrality measures uh, address the question uh, who is the most important or central person in this network? Who is the most central nodes in these networks? So uh, there are a vast number of different centrality measures that have been proposed over the years. So we will look at some popular ones, for example, degree centrality, closeness, and uh, between a centrality, and each vector centrality. So, uh, degree centrality assigns an important score based simply on the number of links held by each node. So, uh, degree centrality uh, tells us how many direct uh, connections each node has to other nodes in the network. Uh, between centrality quantifies the number of times a node acts uh, as a bridge along the shortest path between two other nodes. It was introduced as a measure for uh, quantifying the control of a human on the communication between other humans in a social network by uh, Linton and Freeman. So uh, this measure uh, shows uh, which nodes are bridges between nodes in a network. It does uh, this by identifying all the shortest paths and then counting how many times each node falls uh, on one. Closeness centrality uh, scores each node based on their closeness to all other nodes in the network. This measure calculates uh, the shortest path uh, between all nodes, then assigns each node a score based on its sum of uh, shortest path. So, so for uh, finding the individuals who are uh, best placed to influence the entire network most quickly, so, uh, closeness centrality is the most switchable centrality for in this context. And uh, for each uh, vector centrality, like degree centrality, it measures uh, a node's influence by, based on the number of links it has to other nodes in the network. So, uh, each centrality then goes a step further by also taking into account how well connected the node is and how many links their connections have, and so on throughout uh, the network. So by calculating uh, the extended connections of a node, agent centrality can uh, identify nodes with influence over the whole network, not just uh, those directly connected to it. So uh, this uh, figure summarizes uh, different kind of uh, centrality as uh, we explained before so each centrality uh, it's uh, uh, benefit in uh, in some context uh, so uh, we have uh, nodes with pink uh, uh, explain nodes with high uh, between a centrality the node, the green node, is a node with high closeness. Uh, with blue is a node with high degree centrality. Uh, node in purple with high each and vector centrality. So each matrix of uh, centrality have uh, have some uh, shortcomings. coming. So that's why in this study we uh, we gather uh, these four metrics of centrality as a multi-attribute uh, with topsis 
and then we uh, use other methods for uh, objective weighting to combine also with the topsys. So uh, we work on uh, this small uh, data set, so uh, the kit network. In graph theory, the uh, kit graph is a sample graph with 10 nodes. So uh, this graph uh, is named after David uh, Krakart's research of uh, social network uh, theory. So we have uh, 10 nodes. Uh, it's a social uh, social uh, network. So we have Jane, Hader, Ike, Fernando, Carol, Ander, Beverly, Ed, Garth, and Diane. So uh, and uh, at the right we have uh, the table that presents uh, metrics of centrality for each node. So we have uh, calculate each uh, metric for each node. So after applying uh, the three methods of objective weighting, uh, Merek, STV, and uh, Krasik, so we obtain uh, the weights uh, as you uh, as you show in the figure uh, uh, in the left. So according to this figure, we can show that uh, weights computed by these algorithms of objective weighting are uh, approximate especially between uh, standard deviation and critic, which explain it by the fact that critic integrates the standard deviation between uh, each criterion's data. So uh, the three algorithms express also the same prefer uh, preferences towards criteria with the slight uh, difference between values uh, measured. So Merek uh, even if also promotes uh, between us, uh, which means uh, it gives the highest weights for between is, but is not like other algorithms, which allows the weight of uh, degree and edge vector to be a little high compared to the other algorithms. So as you as you see for uh, critic uh, for uh, Merek with the, the blue. Uh, so uh, degree and agent is a little high compared to the other algorithm. So we can observe that critic STV and Merrick indicates that uh, between centrality is the mass critical criteria. So uh, for the table uh, in the right, so it uh, presents the correlation between critic STV and Merrick using the person coefficient. So the highest correlation observed between the weights obtained by Critic and STV, so uh, 0.99, followed by the correlation of Critic and Merek, 0.97, then the correlation of Merek and STV with 0.96. So the three coefficient demonstrates a high correlation between uh, these three objective weighting methods, Critic, STV, and Merek. And the highest correlation is between Krasik and STV because Krasik uh, integrates the standard deviation of data. So for the results of uh, the combination uh, Krasik topsys, STV topsys, and Merik topsys, so uh, we can get that uh, these three combinations have uh, the same behavior on the ranking. So uh, for uh, Git Network, uh, the ranking as following. So we have uh, Header, uh, then Guard, Fernando, Ike, Diane, Beverly, Ender, Ed, Carol, Jane. Uh, uh, so Jane is the last. So uh, uh, we have the same ranking. The first rank is for Header for the three techniques. And the Jane is the last. and uh, uh, with with the zero in the score in all the combinations. So to conclude, the social network analysis is still an open issue uh, in the network science. So in this study, uh, we aim to obtain weights using objective uh, weighting method. 
So the methods used in this context uh, are uh, Merek, Kretzik, and uh, standard deviation. Uh, their weights uh, are needed in top sets to decide the node ranking. So uh, our experimental uh, results show that the ranking for the three combinations are uh, identical. Uh, as perspective, we try to run these algorithms on different varied networks uh, datasets and evaluate their uh, efficiency through uh, different sizes of uh, networks. So there are uh, some references used in this work. And thanks for your attention.